Hey, what's up, everybody? Wednesday, and we got our EDC add-ons. Some stuff I added on to my EDC. That just doesn't want to focus because there's too much in the picture. And I'll explain everything. There are just a couple little add-ons, and I'll explain everything in a minute and why they're there. I just need something over here to kind of coincide with that. You can take on you can understand what I'm saying about it in a second. But anyway. I know it's a little odd, not the tool part, but the other part to be added to an EDC, but I'll explain everything in a little bit. But let's go over the tool part first for all those that are into tools and stuff. And then we'll go on to the other stuff and I'll explain why that is there and there is meaning to it. But before we get into all that, remember to come over here, hit that subscribe because it's a season of giving and you could give a subscription for free. And you put it again, and you get that over there, and free subscription. Come over here, hit that thumbs up. We don't charge you anything for your subscription, so please join us. Anyway, so this is the tool. It was in Harbor Freight. I had to think about that for a second. It was in Harbor Freight, and it is rubberized around here, but these are metal. And the body of it is all metal, as if you could see if you go in there closely. It's just a chunk of metal with little bolts in it, little, um, like, uh, ratchets on there, I guess you would say. And you have your different sizes. This is right there. It tells you all the different sizes. So you have all your sizes there. It is really cool. The rubber part helps you. I was working on something the other day on a bike and on a snowblower. And if you have this in your pocket and you don't want to run over to your toolbox, this is very cool to use. Now, why do I have this? It's just to represent that, that it doesn't fit in there that good. But hey, <laughs> it's usually a screwdriver you would put in there. I'm trying to find something here that would fit in there. This would probably fit in there, but yes, you would put your screwdriver in there like so. And you can use your screwdriver to turn it. So, you know, the screwdriver would go all the way through. It's a pen. It's not going to go all the way through as in a screwdriver would. But you get the picture. This is a nice little add-on. It was like $4.99, I think, if I remember correctly. And as you can see, it has. And it's pretty solid made. And it goes right through right there. So even if you didn't want to use this part over here, you could... um. You know, the bolt didn't go that deep and you had the bolt right here. You could put that over here and get some more leverage on it to get you to be able to take out that bolt or that nut. So very good piece of equipment to add on. It's cheap, very well used. Now, as for that stuff there, I know you're probably saying why and what would you add that to your EDC for? And... I'm not going to show. I doodle a lot. Now, I don't know if you guys like watching. I think people that watch EDC watch that. If you ever watched the GQ 10 Things I Can't Live Without. I was watching, you know, the James Bond, Pierce Bronson. He was on there. He was saying when he gets anxious or can't, you know, focus. He likes to draw and doodle. And I used to draw when I was younger a lot. I kind of steered away from it lately well in the later years I kind of steered away from drawing but it really is that's a relaxing thing so he was saying he carries a sketch pad he had a different kind of like fancy sketch pad I just have a basic one it's five below so this and this is purchased in five below but it's a basic drawing pad I have some stuff in the back I was doodling on but it has kind of the um what do you call it the kind of hard back so you could sit there, hold it, and draw. So you can just do a little bit of doodling, a little sketching out. If you have an idea, let's say you're building something. Like, you know, uh, trying to think of stuff offhand. But like, you know, something for Christmas. You're building like a storage box or something like that. You could draw out your ideas on there. You have an idea for something you want to make. Like, you know, these things over here I made. Sorry. 
just knock some stuff over if I got it. You want to do something like this. You could do the drawing of your idea there, idea there. So you get everything sketched out and planned out. Now, like I said, this was five, five below. This also was five at five below. And I'll show you what you got. If you're into drawing, you're going to know this stuff. If you're not that much into drawing, and I agree with Pierce Bronson, it's very relaxing. So what you get in the five, it's a kit on a thing. I should have did an unboxing. I didn't think of it. I just wanted to get this stuff out and see how it worked. Because I really want to get back into drawing. But it's a little metal pencil sharpener. I keep it in here because I don't want the pencil sharpenings flying all over. Because I did sharpen all the pencils. Then over here, I have some um, charcoal. This is just like regular charcoal. Soft, medium, and hard. As you can see there. I think you can see it right there. So it has tells you what it is on there. Of course, they're charcoal. They're going to break. No big deal. It's even easier if they break because you can use them. Then we have some color chalk or pastel. You got like a gray, a black, a white, kind of brownish gold colors right there. I just don't want them getting all over the pencils and stuff. That's why I put it in there. So you have that there. And then over here, it's going to stick to everything, of course. But this is a kneading eraser. So what you do is, once it gets dirty over here, you just kind of flex it around like so. And you do that. And then that will freshen it up and you'll have a clean side. And it'll get rid of some of the dirt. And of course, if you're trying to get into something really tight, you can of course kind of make it into a little thing to get in there. It's a very good eraser. Great if you got to do something and you just want to get something on the side or something like that. It's a good eraser. It really gets a lot of stuff off. And this is a regular kind of rubber eraser that you would find. And it says eraser, so you'll never forget what it is. But it's kind of just a little rubber eraser. And, of course, you can push it out of the cardboard and then push it back in. So you do get that with it. And you get some blending sticks. These are really cool because, you know, when you do kind of soft things on there, these will help you. As you can see, I haven't used it this much. I do have a regular drawing kit. I gave some of the stuff to my son because he really got into drawing. So I just wanted to make a little kit for myself that I can bring and throw in my bag. So you would put the pencil down and you kind of blend it. Let me see. I think I can show you. In the back here, I just did some stuff to make sure how the pencils work. So what you could do is you could come in here and you can blend it. So see, it kind of changes the look of it and softens it. And you could soften the hard lines with this. It's a blending stick. So I did test out all the pencils on here. So you use these blenders to kind of push your stuff together. And we have several, several pencils that came with it, which is really cool too. I sharpened everything. We have a B2, and that's for the hardness of the pencil, a regular B. These are all the blue pencils. You got an HB, and then regular H. And then over here, you have kind of a white one to just do like backgrounds and stuff like that. And this is light uh, spade, spade. Uh, what is this? Hard. This is a hard black kind of charcoal pencil. This is a medium one. This is a soft one. And then over here you have your 4B and your H2. So they're different hard, hard, hardness, softness. You get different lines and whatnot from them. I can demonstrate a little bit here for you. So, of course, if you had the HB, you kind of uh, pick up the wrong one there. The HB would kind of give you a line like that, a very rough, hard line. And let me see if I can find the H. I found the H2. I think that was just an H, right? Yeah, we'll just go with the H2 for now. So, as you can see, a little bit different of a line. 
not as defined, not as rough. And of course, if you want to blend it, the other one, the harder ones, are a little bit harder to blend. So if you're going to try to do an outline or something, teach yourself. You don't have to go to class or anything to learn how to draw. And I'm telling you, it will really, really relax you. It gives you something to do. And like I said, if you're working on something, we I last year I built a manger for us because our manger got damaged, water damaged. I built the manger for Christmas. And I drawed it out on a regular paper, but I could have used this to draw it out and it would have been a lot cooler and a lot better to follow. So there you have it, a couple of little add-ons to your EDC, a little bit different types of stuff there you're into drawing or if you just want to try to get into it and or sketch out some of the stuff you're working on you can do it with that so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and like always have a great great day